G'day, it's Mark here at Combi Life and Van Essen Mobile Camping here in Campbelltown. And behind us we have a pretty rare short wheelbase caddy. Uh, it's a commercial van, doesn't have the windows and so on, but gee, it looks cool. We've tricked it up with some beautiful caddy life stripes and King Off-Road uh, black mags with some brand new Toyo tires on. It's just looking fantastic. And panel van. It's got the barn doors on the back. What I particularly like about these short wheelbase caddies is it's got such a smooth look on the side here. As a bit of a clue here, as I tap on this, it's not all hollowy and echoey because inside is very special. We have lined and insulated and carpeted and made this very small vehicle into an amazing camper van. It's like a little TARDIS. So it's got all the carpet linings got a twin tone finish so we've got light gray throughout so it's not too dark but a nice dark ceiling additional lights check this out there's additional lights uh, one at the front one at the back that's running off uh, the additional battery we have here uh, our last set of caddy short wheelbase pack bags they are huge so you put all your clothes and toiletries and so on into here and they just pop in and out through these little retainers, take them out and take them inside, pack them up and we've got the retainers in there. So to reinstall those, just on, turn the clips, an extra clip here as well. Now the uh, vehicle has now got the bed system and it has the kitchen system and for ventilation for when you're sleeping in here with the bed system, we have the Kefremo French Canadian fan and we just can point this in all directions to blow air in or suck it out. It's got timer functions as well, and that can make such a big difference to the vehicle when you're sleeping in here. The Vanessa kitchen system is fully modular. I'll just turn that off. Three speeds there, pop that back up, and put on the cam lock. But you can see here, this is the modular kitchen system. So I've uh, got the water tank behind us here. So there's our water tank that's uh, 13 litres that's refillable either in situ or take it out and take it over to the tap. It's got the nice light lid on there and attached to the back of our kitchen is our bed system there. So we'll look at more of that through the sliding door in a sec but this kitchen module has for that water tank a sink optional shower attachment for that. Two sink bowls are in here which is fantastic. A utensil drawer under here. We've got the gas stove here with two gas butane uh, bottles that is very effective. Make my coffee on that in the morning. On this side we have some good utility drawers. Don't forget with Vanessa that these things just pop out. Take them inside, pack them up. And here we have another utility drawer with the chopping board. The chopping board can also act as a wind protector here. We do have the wind doors but we can add the wind protector here. So that makes a good difference as well. And notice these drawers want to keep running in, but we do have the retainers there, so that will help the drawer stay out. And we can even use this as a nice chopping board at the top here. That skin wants to run in, just pop the retainer out. And we've got the chopping board in place here to extend our kitchen. Very, very clever uh, system here. But the piece de resistance, I suppose, for any of these Vanessa Simpson is a great big fridge. Look at the size of that fridge and this small footprint fan. It's the Dometic Waco CF35 and we have plenty of room in here uh, for all of the drinks and food and so on that we need to take, take away with us. So that is the rear of the van. Let's go and have a look through the side door now. And we can see the bed's got the three-piece mattress. We have it up this particular way to make the bed because the mattress has a, a very thick foam at the bottom and then a soft memory foam on top, fleece, and then these automotive materials. And with the bed extension, it's very clever. It's got a small piece on the end and then the large bed span and this folding flap here. So in the short wheelbase caddy, we do need to have this folding flap because that allows us to put the seats back and then have uh, full use of the front seat. So we can see under here as well in this view, uh, caddy, we've added the Red Arc charger and the battery system in there as well. That's all Bluetooth enabled. 
and you'll be able to monitor your battery consumption. There's so much storage in this vehicle under the bed system. So it's a small format vehicle. It's the smallest you'll find in Australia, yet it has a ton of storage, not only in those pack bags in that rear cabin, but also under the bed here. So if we want to make this back into the seats now, we just literally can put these seats back and wind the reclines, recline back as well. And same on the other side now. Got that seat back now as well. Having a look in the front, the Caddy has the automatic gearbox. It also has the full uh, upgraded radio with the App Connect. So as soon as you connect that up with your USB cable, you'll have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And this particular vehicle has uh, just over 40,000 Ks, mid 40,000s. So super short wheelbase, air conditioning, power windows, central locking, all the good things you'd expect. And it was built in September, 2019. So that's that. Thanks for looking at the Caddy. It's a TSI 220, by the way, the petrol engine. No diesel particular filters or any of that. Oh, by the way, we do have, uh, we've added the, the rails just to add a bit of style to this vehicle. So we've got the lengthways rails, fantastic new product on the Combi Life website, along with the crossbars with key lock. The crossbars uh, allow us to then put our surfboard or anything else onto this, onto this roof. So that's the Caddy short wheelbase TSI 220 petrol vehicle and uh, ready to go here at Combi Life Campbelltown. Thanks for watching.